This comment I just made at a certain recognize and resist site might not be approved. So I figured that instead of wasting it, I'd go ahead and make this video. Here's the comment. How is it that you're unaware that actual popes must be actually Catholic? And that if there's one thing Francis has made crystal clear, it's that he hates actual Catholicism with the white-hot hatred of a thousand burning suns. Thus, he participates in demon-summoning ceremonies. He tries to obliterate the actual Roman rite. And on, and on, and on. In short, Francis says and does things that an actual pope would never say or do. Indeed, we're assured by the infallible prayer of Christ that actual successors of Peter are divinely protected from saying or doing such things. See Luke twenty-two thirty-two, And it's not just that he's a bad father. Rather, as a manifest non-Catholic, and indeed rabid anti-Catholic, he's not a father, not a pope at all. This unholy anti-father feeds his supposed children nothing but stones, serpents, and scorpions. Yet again, we're divinely assured that a true father feeding his children would never substitute stones for bread, serpents for fish, or scorpions for eggs. See Matthew chapter 7 and Luke chapter 11. Again, as I had said in a previous comment, just as one need not be a coroner to recognize a dead body, one need have no legal authority whatsoever in order to simply recognize the factual reality spitting in our faces daily. Our minds were made for truth, people. It's okay to recognize the truth. Legal authority is needed only to establish legal reality. And I say this as a lawyer, by the way. Meanwhile, the present objective reality, note that the present objective reality, the reality independent of what we think, the present objective reality spits in our faces daily. Any future legal judgment will simply be an acknowledgement of this present manifest. This is not an occult reality, a secret reality, manifest reality. It's time to get real. Really real. Start regularly reading sites like the WM Review, aka Catholic, and the superb Novus Ordo Watch. Wake up! We cannot, quote, rethink the papacy, as Professor Kwasniewski and the rest of the r, &R crowd are desperately doing in order to accommodate Francis as Pope, an apparent Pope. Rather, we must understand the papacy as it really is. For example, by reading Dom Geringer's The Papal Monarchy. We must understand it as it's been divinely given to us, and therefore how it excludes every possibility of Francis being an actual Pope. And this, not because of any electoral irregularities, but because he's not a Catholic. Electoral irregularities are irrelevant. Whether he's good or bad is irrelevant. What's relevant is, is he a Catholic? Because one cannot be the head of a body of which one is not a member. And he's made it abundantly clear that he's not a member of the actual Catholic Church. Start by reading this June 8, 2022 entry over at Novus Ordo Watch. Rethinking the Papacy, a new narrative for the Semi-Trads. We have to get real, really real. And the reality is uncomfortable, I know. But reality it is. Let us not continue to legitimate 
this imposter by continuing to call him an actual pope. As long as we do this, we are complicit in the evils of this man and of the Novus Ordo Antichurch he leads. Our minds were made for truth. Don't be afraid of it. We are divinely assured that the actual Catholic Church can never fail. God knows what's happening. Of course, he knows everything that's happening. It's a great mystery, yes. But nevertheless, it is being permitted. And we are divinely assured that the actual Catholic Church cannot fail. But this organization, currently led by Francis, has manifestly failed. It has manifestly defected. And therefore, since we are divinely assured of the indefectibility of the Church, we can be assured that this organization, led by anti-Pope Francis, cannot possibly be the actual Catholic Church, which is in the catacombs once again. And it, like the incarnate Christ, as the body of Christ, shall also rise again.